Women's basketball is preparing for a program first. They will represent JU in the preseason WNIT tournament. It means a lot. I mean, it's, it's the first time for the, in the history of the program for us to be invited to any preseason WNIT, men or women. So it's a big deal. It's history. It shows that the program is moving in the positive direction that we want it in. Uh, when, when I got the call a year ago, uh, you know, the director said, we, we want to invite you. We like where the program is going. And so, one, it's, it's a prestigious tournament, and it gives us an opportunity to showcase our talents on a big stage right away. First time in history, I think that's a, a great opportunity for uh, JU Women's Basketball. Um, I think it puts our uh, name out there at the school. I mean, we're not that big of a program, so when we get into a, a big tournament like that, it lets us get on the big floors and everybody see what we're about. Does any extra preparation go into preparing for South Florida, the first of the Dolphins' three opponents? You take any game as the biggest game of your uh, life. You know, it's, every game is a big game to us, so we're going to prep and play every game like it was our last. Usually for the bigger games, they don't need to get hyped up. They're usually pretty pumped up. Uh, but we kind of, we have the saying that every game is the biggest game of our life. And so we really try to focus on taking it one game at a time. Because South Florida is up, that's who, that's who we talk about. We don't talk about anybody else because that's the next game up. And that's our philosophy through the whole season. What does the experience against bigger opponents do for this team? It makes it easier to play in our conference games. Um, things, that, things that I'm not too good at, I work on it during non-conference. And then conference time, it's, it's cake. It challenges me. And um, to play against, quote unquote, better guards, you know, being that we're quote unquote, the smaller school. It challenges uh, each and every one of us to um, prep us for our uh, Atlantic Sun Conference. Um, when we play against the bigger schools, um, you know, they're tougher. They're supposed to be tougher and whatever. So whenever we play against the uh, Gulf Coast, we play against the Stetson, we'll be well prepared for them. I just think uh, if you if you battle tested early, you have resilience in the end. I mean, if you've seen our seasons, we usually have slow starts mostly because we've been a young team. This year, our pups have finally grown, and so we're really excited about coming out and being competitive sooner, early, and, and starting to, we, I, I felt like we were always competitive, but seeing results earlier. But if, if you look at us the past two seasons, we've always been in the top four at the end. It's due to our, it's due to our not conference, how, how tough it is. With the season opening up in a prestigious tournament at the home site of the women's Final Four last year, any extra anticipation for the opener? I try to approach every game the same way every time, but it's, it's like a kid the night of Christmas Eve. I love it. That's not to say there won't be butterflies. It's, it's before every game, and it's funny. Me and Coach Joe, we always meet in the elevator, and we see each other, and she, just, she looks at me, she's like, you ready? <laughs> I get the butterflies before every game. <laughs> I get the butterflies before every practice. I think it's because, you know, I want the players to do well. I want to make sure that they're prepared. I think if you don't get butterflies, then you don't have a pulse because this is basketball. It's so exciting and an opportunity for the ladies to, you know, achieve success that will help them later on in life. The first whistle before the ball goes up. It's like an amazing feeling of just like brush and then everything just goes calm. Despite some nervousness, there is an overwhelming sense of confidence among the veteran team to help spread the name of Jacksonville basketball. We've been able to do so much in this. Well, this is our 13th practice. We've been able to do so much because of our veteran leadership. I think that uh, the coaches also did a great job of maximizing the summer workouts and implementing uh, some of our principles, both on the offensive and defensive end. And the girls have done a great job carrying it over in practice. It's amazing. Um, I have basically a whole city behind me. They're behind my teammates as well. Um, I have a lot of people who come from my high school, they come to the games. Um, a lot of people who come from my AAU teams, they come to the games and it's a lot of support and I love it. I want to put us on the map because when we go out there, we're, the intent is to win every game. So whether it's a Syracuse, or whether it's a South Florida or a Florida, our intent is to win a game. So when we do that, everybody will know who JU Women's Basketball is.